Oh, welcome everybody. What a surprise it is today. Welcome to the Pure Energy Healing Academy with myself and the beautiful, intelligent, super special Leila Sati. Thank you so much. <laughs> she looks younger every time she comes. What's going on? What's your secret? Um, lifestyle. Of it. <laughs> yeah, Keep, keeping uh, negativity up. No, negativity at bay is that one you, of you the, want the secret the, yeah we know we need everybody recipes. don't we all <laughs> <laughs> well definitely i would say happiness makes you look more youthful and more beautiful because when you're feeling good then you radiate beauty from within um and you feel better and uh, when i mentioned lifestyle i meant everything what I put in my body, how I treat my body, what I think, what I eat, um, hydration, and all that good stuff. <laughs> how are you, Mark? I'm all right. I've just come back from ballet, so um, it was it, you know, the the trip itself was quite tiring because it's 24 hours. So I, I felt a bit funky when I got back because. Right. I, I just don't think uh, flying is really, I don't think we're meant to be up there for that long. But anyway, it is what it is. I, I'm, but I'm feeling much better now, stronger. i tell you what I wanted to ask you. A well, question. before you ask me, let me ask you, uh, how was it in Bali this time compared to um, the last time I was there, we were doing the retreat. And uh, so, um, you know, has the country or the island changed? And uh, what's it like now? Yeah, it's interesting. I think... It's like Spain, really. You've got to find your your community. You've got to find the places. You've you've got to get up and do the research because everywhere now is you know filled with. I mean, Changu is one of the most popular destinations. It's now uninhabitable as far as I'm concerned. Right. You just, there's no movement. You can't move even on a motorbike. You're bumper to bumper with everybody, and you know they say there's the times here in Spain or wherever you may live out there that there's you know road traffic it's it's the time of day it's like that through the day and night mm -hmm. so that that I went there once and uh, I, I vowed I wouldn't go again um, uh, Ubud is uh, equally as difficult to get around um, mm -hmm. but you've got to you've got to hunt for the places to be well, I think it, it, it um, made me think of, um, you know, the social media and how everybody wants to do what's popular and what's in. So I think like nowadays, uh, when people see these uh, trendy destinations, they're more inclined to go there than discover something on their own. When I travel, I like to go where, you know, Nobody it's goes. off the beaten track. And, and, Smart, and, uh, wise woman, wise woman. I just like to make my own... Um, how would I say, like the journey and discovery of the country. And I always surprise myself with, with like beautiful nature and amazing people, wherever it is that I go to, I like to explore. It's a smart move. It's a, it's one that we should all embrace for sure. Just let me um, ask you a question. Mm -hmm. I wrote it down here. Uh, a client of mine uh, this morning is suffering with losing her hair and I thought, well, mm -hmm. who do I speak to? Maybe uh, ask Layla because you seem to know so much. Do, do you have uh, any information at all on a client losing her hair? She doesn't wow. know why, uh, she's feeling down and so. Right, well, I think that's a uh, very uh, potent um, question because when it happens, especially to women, it causes a lot of emotional turmoil. So it's like um, hair loss is probably due to different stresses, whether it's um, emotional or physical or um, the body is suffering with something. So it's a sign that something is not right. So then it's even more traumatic to see what's happening with the body and uh, try to calm the nerves to help heal the process and, and let the, the hair grow. And uh, I think um, at some point people uh, might experience this um, regardless of whether they're men or women, if, if they are going through some stress. And um, 
I've done a lot of research on it. I've uh, regrown my own hair in, in more volume. Yeah, um, it looks really thick. Thank you. I mean, my hair is naturally like fluffy, so you don't know what the volume is. Like I know when I touch it and how, how it, it um, feels and what it looks like. So I've done a lot of research. This is like a really interesting thing that you're asking me because there's so much information that I've gathered like I have a whole um, blog and um, I haven't released it yet because I've literally compiled like from thoughts and meditation to uh, foods and wow. uh, oils and there's a lot you can do wow. um, and what I would say to those people who are experiencing hair loss please the first thing you got to do is stop the worry because like that that's going to just make things worse just even if you're seeing things physically like you're seeing hair fall out just you gotta let go and you gotta give yourself love and care from within and then you gotta feed yourself the right foods lots of greens dark green vegetables nuts are really good um, especially Brazil nuts if you have a couple or like two or three nuts um, every day uh, they will give you enough of the uh, nutrients that that your hair needs uh, oils um, there's like base oil that you can mix with certain essential oils you can use either coconut oil or um, olive oil as your base or any other good um, oil uh, not like those fake things like baby oil and you know like things that are not real like things that you would put into your body you can put on your hair and your skin because it absorbs it so it's like you know when you put uh, lotion or whatever cream you put on your face or um, on your body after a while there is no more film where where did it go it, it went into your uh, bloodstream like right through your skin so you're gonna feed your hair with um, essential oils um, oh god there's so many that are good for hair but let's say rosemary is one of the uh, good ones oh. Um, and a clean diet, no sugar, cut sugar out completely. Maybe that's completely. what it. Maybe that's what it is because I do know who this lady is. Oh, and really? I see, I've seen three or four of her. Uh, 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 I would never say who it is, but her photos in general are sweet cakes, mm. loads of sweet cakes. I mean, okay, sugar-filled cakes, tons. That that's the first biggest thing that you gotta drop okay. it's like sugar I mean it's bad for many things mm -hmm. but uh, especially for hair um, okay, you gotta right. sleep well you gotta hydrate basically you gotta heal your body as you would any other symptom mm -hmm. so clean diet and uh, um, these little that's tips and that's tips. great I tell you um, I remember I used to be a hairdresser. I don't know if you know that. I used to be an hairdresser years ago. Yeah, believe it or not. And uh, I, I used to cut this beautiful boy's hair. His hair was thick and he, he was a lovely lad. Never said much. Came in uh, probably once every six weeks. And one day he came up and he had a white patch running right the way here. Mm. White patch all the way there. And I was in shock. I've never seen anything like this. He had dark hair, beautiful, thick, dark hair. Right. And then now he's got this white patch running down there. And I, and I went, did you go and colour your hair somewhere else? <laughs> he said, no. And he sat down and I felt like something was off, something was wrong. And his mum mum had died mm -hmm. a week ago. And overnight, he got this white patch down mm -hmm. his head. And I just it just made me realise that that grief or, or pain or, or anxiety or anything can cause stress to, to the hair. For sure, it's, it's, it's stress to the body uh, can create all kinds of um, symptoms and uh, even um, grayness can be reversed if you um, make sure that your body is uh, clean and uh, that you're alkalizing your body so wow. coffee would affect grayness wow. and so if you cut out coffee then wow. you can help your body be more alkaline of course with all of the um, green uh, leafy vegetables and uh, dark um, uh, green uh, vegetables that you can maybe uh, either 
lightly steam or eat raw if you prefer or juice or make into a smoothie just um these yeah, are great greens tips. and blueberries i would say like so dark uh fruits and dark vegetables these are great tips i think what i used to say to some of my clients i used to say that the body vents and releases um, toxins and releases things that no longer serve a purpose. So see as your hair being released and new hair coming through, which is going to be stronger and more, and more beautiful than ever. And that used to make them feel a bit better. And that was the spiritual message. Mm -hmm. You're venting, you're clearing out what needs to be cleared and it will regrow into more healthy hair. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that was just one thing. Thanks for that. Uh, I just want to ask you, I've just wrote a few things down here. Mm -hmm. uh, Leila Satie, I've known you now how many years? Oh, when did I do my first course? It's been seven, eight, seven, seven eight years. years. In the seven, eight years that I've met you and no known you, you've practiced what you've preached. You've never said a a negative word to anybody you've never been sarcastic I've never cry. <laughs> no I, I just would like to know where did that come from I've, I've never met anybody in my life like that you've never said a bad word or a negative thought to me about anybody why is that well <laughs> How do I make the long story short? Um, first, I would say uh, it's something that my parents taught me. Uh, they always said never speak badly about someone's, uh, someone, um, especially if they're not in, in, in the room. And I've noticed that, you know, growing up, um, I had different friends, different groups of uh, people that I was around and I would notice somehow that some people would talk badly about this person but then when that person is in the room they would pretend like they're just best friends and then I would think like oh what is this person talking about me when I'm not present like if, if they're talking right. about this other person so I just noticed these things and then I I feel words and I feel their energy and vibration and I want to be kind to people. So if, if somebody says something nasty to me or someone else in my presence, I know they're hurting and I know that, that they're just reacting in a bad way and they might not even be aware that what they're actually dealing with is beyond this situation that they're talking about. Wow. It's always like that. <laughs> it's never about this. Yeah. Because if you are content and happy with yourself from within, you love your life, you do your best, you're, you're you know, you pursuing your passions, or um, you know, you have hobbies that fulfill your day. When True. You, you, whatever I'm trying to think of all the lifestyles that people might have, but if you are happy within, nothing and no one will trigger you. Totally, and you have no time to to. <laughs> Think because bad thoughts. Totally, or... but you will understand that that's not you, it's mm -hmm. them. And so yeah. I, I would like to treat others like I would like them to treat me. Or, I mean, I, I don't get um, offended if somebody is not uh, at their best. And yeah. I do remember when I was in high school, there was this bully, you know, somebody who was bigger and kind of tougher than the rest of the guys. And he would always pick on this. Pick, pick on this um, guy who was like one of the smaller and, and less stronger in the class and then I took him aside one time and I said like why are you doing this like you see he's trying to be your friend he's so nice to you and then I noticed the difference how actually they became good friends wow. and good buddies and I'm like I never said anything to him we never talked about it but like it just happened over you no know, time that now this biggest guy with like toughest muscle was like the best friends with this like little guy and they kind of like had this energy and like now they were in in in, in the oh my gang. god like, you're an angel well <laughs> wow i wish you were at my school <laughs> wish you're in my class so Brilliant. i think if you give like show love and, and, and kindness to 
somebody, that somebody will show love and kindness to somebody else. And oh, so, why can't they teach that in schools? I mean, you should write a children's book. In fact, <laughs> didn't I didn't I hear something? Well, what a drum roll, right? I well, think. no, it was just it, it it went really nicely into oh, okay. that. Okay, well. <laughs> scripted almost. Well, yes, um, I am actually. I have written two children's books, and now they wow. are in. Uh, the process of being illustrated. I'm uh, so excited for them to see the light of uh, the day and for the world to see these beautiful two stories. Uh, there's more, but uh, these are the two that are complete and, and I just am waiting on uh, artists to complete the illustration. Um, wow. And yeah. how, how long has that taken? I mean, the process of the th first thought till now. Oh, well, I think the writing of both came in a flow of inspiration. So it wasn't that long. Over time, I, I, I you know, cleaned up and maybe uh, manicured a few words here and there, but overall the story came in a flow, both stories. Nice. But then finding the right illustrator yeah. took a long time right. because and nowadays a lot of people are using these clip arts and AI and things that <sighs> Um, There's no soul you in cannot, the name. Well, that's for sure. Like that, I cannot connect to these characters. But also, uh, copyright. You know, I want to be able to totally. uh, put it in 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 my book and and publish it. Yeah. So, but because the stories are beautiful and important to me, and um, you know, one is very artful and. Uh, creative it encourages children to explore their passions nice. and the other one is um, kind of like a teachable teachable fun book that um, touches on different family dynamics like wow. eating healthy you nice. know healthy habits like washing hands and then the family time uh, you know as a family uh, to, to make sure you have time quality time for your children and wow. walk and, and play and all that put your phone down so yeah so um i found two amazing uh artists uh yeah. illustrators who i'm now waiting for to complete their part and then you know put the book together publish but i hope it will be uh, at least the first one uh sometimes uh first part of September for back to wow. school and then I want to have the other one for Christmas so like oh, that's yeah. perfect yeah. That, well we'll do everything we can all of us out there to share it with the world and we need more of that so thank you so much I imagine they're just going to be amazing to read so congratulations um also there was something uh, I wanted to mention is that there's a there's another book no yeah. You've, you, you, you're doing so much <laughs> at the moment because a lot of people are saying, when's, w what's Layla up to? I'm like, right. I, I, I'm hearing so many things. Go on, t tell us about that then. Well, I feel like I, I didn't want to, you know, I see you have a list and I'm not, no, they're just questions. I'm not looking at your no, questions. No, no, sorry. Um, but yes, there's a, another book and it's my recipe. So a lot of people have asked me. Wow. I'm laughing because I never thought I would write a recipe book. Like, you know, I don't call myself chef, even though people call me that. And if I do end up, um, you know, making a special uh, meal or presentation for someone like a client who uh, wants to show how it's very easy and beautiful and, and, and satiating and tasteful to eat healthy and, and plant based then um, they would ask me for recipes and I never make the same thing again. So I made an effort to like take photos of these uh, meals and uh, write down recipes. So it will be an intuitive recipe book, which now is waiting for the um, book designer to put it all together. That's amazing. Well, I can honestly say I've traveled the world. I've eaten at some of the most amazing uh, vegan restaurants in the world but I have to say Leila that I've had a few of your meals and uh, all I can say is there's nothing really to touch it you you cook from somewhere else it's almost channeled I'm sure well it's I think thank you I thank you 
I, I, I have to say I love my food. Like, I don't know if I'm the best chef in the world. I do um, love when other people cook for me, but um, when I do it, I let the vegetables and the fruit guide me and yeah. <laughs> kind of like special, put, it, put it together. Um, yeah. That's I mean, special. That's something else. That's another <laughs> level of cooking. Anyway, the proof is in the pudding, so wait and see when that book comes out and try it, and then, then you'll see what I'm talking about. So, um, okay, I've said, I've said like, I've just seen you, I've said like, she looks younger, and we've said uh, why you look younger, because you're happy and you're joyful. Quick question from one of my clients that knew I was going to interview you. How, how do you get through through feeling down. So, I'm human. <laughs> I've had all human emotions that you can possibly think of and uh, I've been through different challenges in my life and uh, things that some people will never experience. Um, and, you know, that's the beauty of, of life and that's where our differences come from and, and understandings and, and uh, that's how we grow and, and, and learn from each other by sharing experiences. So we don't have to all go through the same thing and um, still have an idea of what it's like living in a certain situation in a certain country and so forth. But strong mindset... Um, is something that is a practice just like anything else you want to be a strong um, um, bodybuilder you have to lift those weights you want to be a successful uh, athlete in whichever sport you have to train you want to be uh, whatever you want to be you have to train uh, you could go to school, you can find a mentor, um, you can apprentice with someone, but you have to train. Well, we don't think about training our mind or our emotions, our feelings, because we think like, okay, this is just how things are. And, and, and we never, like you, you often talk about these things are not taught in school. And um, I think we're in the time of... Um, a lot of changes and I think education will be something that will be changing and evolving as we so. speak I, so. I mean a lot of people who want their children to have a different um, set of skills they are homeschooling or hybrid schooling just looking at alternative ways to um, educate Smart children. people if you can afford of course yeah and I, I don't know if it's I don't know how expensive or how uh, doable it is to homeschool. Like, I don't know. Well, it's hard. I mean, you'd have to give up your, your job. Right, I, mean, I see what, what I mean. you're talking about. Just... Right. Well, then it, it comes down to a choice of a community, you know, like what community you want your children to belong to when they go yeah. to a school. And yeah. these are all important questions that, you know, I would consider. But when uh, it comes to... Uh, overcoming a challenge it has to come from a deep desire to want to change wow. we all want change but not many people are willing to do the work to change mm. so if you want the world to look different your life to look different you have to do different things not the same things you did yesterday and this morning and tomorrow might never come you know every day you wake up and you're like yeah okay just one more day and then tomorrow I'll start working out on Monday I'll start this on the first I'll start that on January 1st I'll start there is no better time than right now and I would say start with one thing and then keep adding every week add one more thing that you know if you changed your life will look different in three months, wow. in six months. Yeah. And when you think about it, even body, if you want to condition your body, within a month you can cleanse your body. Within three months you can completely transform your physique if you work out on a regular basis, like, you know, however many di days and hours uh, um, a week that is for you, depending on what your goals are, what your physical 
uh, abilities are. So um, add one thing that will strengthen your mindset, that will encourage you to move forward with your life and that will make you feel better. <laughs> so it might be, uh, you know, first taking care of yourself, your body, your mind, doing something that gives you joy, whether that's reading or drawing or dancing or whatever gives you joy so that you can fill yourself with that beautiful emotion and see your life as your dream, as your dream life. And then find a way to do it. And this is another thing. Mm. When you have to do something and then you procrastinate and you delay and then you, you know, eat the cake and oh, now you feel bad because you've just eaten the cake or um, you're doing these things that are detrimental to your health and to your well-being, to your future. So when you're having that feeling of, of schism within and, and, and uh, struggle to move forward. Like you know what's right for you, you know what to do, but you're not doing it and that's making you feel bad and then it's like a Vicious spiral. Circle. Yeah. Just say, and say to yourself, it's easy. It's easy. Mm -hmm. Whatever you have to do, it's easy and then do it. Do that thing that you're delaying that is the most biggest thing that cleaning my like, windows well I, I i would assume maybe it's something like do your taxes or like you know oh. like do your uh, uh, um you know apply for that job or or start yeah. um uh, uh apprenticeship with someone that you want to learn from or whatever it is that will make yeah. a big leap forward in your life just do that and say your this is easy and when you do it trust me you will see that it's easy it's easier than the thoughts that you're having and the struggle and pain that you're having every single day yeah. so and then you, you can condition yourself that you actually think that everything it's a easy. it's a beautiful thing eh? what you've just said and you know what it's true after i've cleaned them windows and they're a challenge to clean these windows when i finished i feel like i can clean them windows and I feel strong, I feel clean, I feel accomplished, and I feel like I've done something. I've accomplished something. And, and you it, feel like you can do something else and, and I will do something else. That's the thing. I'll move straight on to doing something else. So you're right. It's just, it is easy. It's just, I tell myself, it isn't easy. I am the, 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 um, what's the word? What, what am I? I stop myself from doing the right things because my brain tells me to. <laughs> Do you listen to your brain? Is it right? You know, is it like what? What? Part? It's not been right um, mm -hmm. most of the time. To be fair. <laughs> <laughs> well, if the thought empowers you and makes you feel good, then keep it. If it makes you feel bad and it's not good for you, then yeah. just replace it with something. Higher in energy and vibration, something that will lift you up. Is it important to to eat healthy, and why? Simple, short answer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Why? Well, it's important if it is important to you. If it's not important to you, it's not important, right? Well, so I've just had this conversation with Ole when I was in in Bali. He says, oh, "No, no, no." He says, "As long as you 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 feel happy when you eat, you can eat anything." Well. If that's what you want to believe, then that's what you want to believe, and you know maybe yeah. that will give you joy, and 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 somehow you will cleanse whatever you eat because you will be happy, and your cells are happy, and you, you're not affected by um, other things that 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 are part of the holistic well-being, which is the physical, emotional, mental, spiritual body. So for me, eating healthy is important right so why do i eat healthy because and what well health what is healthy is something that we can have like totally. many conversations yeah. about there's many people who think you have to eat meat you have to eat keto you have to eat paleo you have to eat vegan you have to eat this what and that and the other and you will find people around the world who are eating all kinds of different diets and they're healthy but why are they healthy because 
other parts of their lifestyle is healthy and balanced. Really? So then whatever they eat is okay because it's in their environment, it's in their nature, it's what makes them happy, but then they have balanced life in all the other aspects of life. So is healthy eating important to you? And what is healthy eating to you? Yeah. For me, that's plant-based and that's clean eating, hydration, uh, detoxing, you know, multiple uh, fastings throughout the year and all that. But for somebody else, let them be happy with whatever they choose. Yeah, that's a nice answer. It's a great answer. You know, I always say that, you know, when people say that, oh yeah, it's fine until you get sick, until you're poorly. And then when you get polio, you feel bad and like, well, it might have something to do with what you're eating. Right. I mean, there, there's things like fast food. You know, I don't have to name all the fancy establishments that call themselves restaurants, but um, those things are not food. If they, There's no nutrition, vitamins, minerals. If there is nothing to support the optimal cellular health of your body then yeah. why would you put it in your body yeah 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 i mean we've had this conversation a thousand times but yeah i mean it's just a question which was asked you know what why is it important to eat healthy um but i i completely agree if somebody's asking me that question it's it's always interesting to hear it that question but for me i like 20 years ago, I used to eat all sorts and used to have three sugars in my tea. I was, <laughs> I was fine. But your body is a fantastic healing tool, right? It's a healing temple, but it can only heal for so long. It can only continue healing at that kind of rate for so long and for, for something in the, the body works to, you know, not, not continue doing what it's meant to do. So for me, my body started kind of failing by energy wise and I started getting tired. And then it was, if it wasn't for a, a lady who came here and said, sugar is evil, I would never have listened. She, and she was a scientist. Mm -hmm. She looked at me and she said, sugar is evil, Mark. Mm -hmm. And I like, when somebody said something like evil, like now I'm listening mm -hmm. and she meant it. Incredible, eh? But anyway, let's move on. Let's move on to something happier. Um, how's Lemon House doing? Thank you for asking. Lemon House is doing well. It's uh, um, a beautiful website where you can find some beautiful crystals that I've picked and worked on. And uh, there's also some beautiful incense, some of my favorites, the sacred oil, um, the sacred mist which is basically blessed waters from around the world whenever I travel and I go to a very special sacred place I, I bring it and I put it together mm -hmm. and um, there's a lot of great information in uh, the blogs on the website brilliant uh, that I've written about different uh, topics uh, for uh, holistic well-being nice and um, yeah that's good and uh, Leila Satie herself, uh, dot com. How, how's Leila Satie dot com doing? <laughs> there is so much you're doing, Miss, Entre Miss Entrepreneur. <laughs> Leila Satie is a creator, a, an a artist who loves to express herself in, in, in different um, ways. And so on my website, you will find um, about my... Uh, acting and filmmaking but also uh, some personal coaching kind of putting together all of my you know like yoga teacher training and my um, health and well-being from the cleansing to plant-based nutrition to healing with pure energy healing energy as well as um, um, yeah, everything that I've learned and exposed myself and experienced. So yes, you can find that on my website. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that's great. Well, I think probably that's everything. Um, it's been absolutely lovely seeing you again. Uh, you're off again off your, on your travel shortly. Uh, I don't know where it is. You know. you're, you're, well, I know <laughs> I you're. Didn't tell you're <laughs> no, but I know you're off again. You're traveling, and um, yeah, fantastic. Uh, I'm going to leave some links below here, guys, for, uh, with all Layla's um, beautiful uh, products on Lemon House. 
um, we look forward to um, receiving the book in hardback or softback in our hands. Um, I'm particularly looking forward to the cookbook, I have to say, even though I imagine the children's stories. Are I was going to say, I thought you would want the children's stories. I'm, look I'm looking forward to the children's stories to give to my grandchildren, so um, they're going to love that. So, I, I mean, I'm sure everybody out there, uh, as usual, will support you and they love you for who you are, your, your gentle, uh, wonderful genius that you are. And thank you for sharing your time and hopefully... We might be doing some things with the Pure Energy Healing Academy shortly if we have time in between. Is that well, possible? Do you that think? would be amazing. Actually, I wanted to ask you: Would you do another live with me? Or now I'm feeling. Yeah, now I'm feeling a bit better. I think I'm. 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 I should be fine to be able to do that. So, what what do you think will be a good idea while we're here well, now maybe, talking? Yeah, we didn't rehearse this, and mm -hmm. I was going to ask you to surprise you, but mm -hmm. it seems like you're thinking the same. So um, what we would do is we would offer live sessions for um, new healers who are um, going through the course. So if you would like to complete the course before the live sessions, so you come with questions or you are a healer already who is um, uh, part of our community, you're welcome to join these live sessions. Uh, and they are only for people who are part of the community. They're newly started um, healers um, who are going through the Pure Energy Healing Course or the Pure Energy Crystal Healing Course. Um, or when do you somebody think, when do you think we could, we may, well, what kind of dates see. are we looking at? Um, we are at the beginning of July, maybe beginning of August to mid-August, and then I cannot between mid-August to mid-September. So that's okay with me. No, that's fine. That so. that works well with me. So okay, so we'll we'll sort that out then. So basically, what that means is that you know if if is it going to be on a certain it will be on a certain date that we, we will would do this. Usually, do it mm -hmm. on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But maybe we'll do two nights, like mm -hmm. uh, maybe Friday night, Saturday night, so that people. Um, most people, I would assume, work uh, Monday to Friday, so then you can have your week, and then Friday night, Saturday night, so then on Sunday you can prepare for the next week. Okay. So maybe. So basically, what th this is is that if you want to learn how to heal, if you want to learn how to heal yourself, if you want to learn um, everything that that myself has has practiced over these twenty years, um, it's basically in a four-day course called the Pure Energy Healing Course. So I'll link that below. Mm -hmm. uh, you can read um, the website. It's all on the website. All the details are there. Everything about the course, the outline, and what you can expect from the four days. Um, I would say this course is one of the most powerful transformational courses. I've done a lot of, <laughs> a lot of work uh, on myself through different courses and they all help me be where I am today and they helped me through different things as I was going through life but I would say that the pure energy healing course and then the crystal course is not just for people who are interested in healing but people who are interested in understanding themselves and their spirituality and maybe um, a strengthening from within and um, not being fearful of life and uh, the little things in life and knowing how to connect to your power so you're not uh, triggered emotionally in, in a way that then sets you on a downward spiral. Uh, it's, it's an overall empowering course. So that would be that's something I would say, but you can read through many beautiful testimonials. There's also um, video testimonial of some of our healers who have taken the course, and I, I'm always touched and 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 moved by these um, beautiful people who have joined the course, and somehow we attract always the beautiful people and. Um, 
and their appreciation for the work. Yeah. So, Mark, thank you for bringing yeah, that. Th thank you for making it. Thank you for making it. Layla is the one who actually put it all together, and uh, the genius of Layla, um, because she's a, a not just a director, but you know, a visionary. So, it's great. I mean, for me, the most beautiful thing about the four-day course, online course, which are basically videos, right? If we explain, it's not like you're writing all day long. It's videos and it's hands-on work. It's experiential, so you don't have to stress about, oh, I've never went to university, I don't know how to study. It's not that kind of a course. Um, it's for you to absorb the information and then um, things will make sense as you work with the course, with the pure energy healing, as you understand the crystals and the healing tools, as you understand yourself better, things will make sense. And yeah, totally. usually people come with a lot of questions at the beginning and then we say, just go through the course and, and then, then if you have a question. any questions. And, and then, then by the end there is yeah, no yeah, questions. Yeah. Is there any questions? <laughs> no, no questions. <laughs> Because that, that's when we come together uh, on the night or the morning after you've, you've, you've done the first or second day or the third day. We come and we, we chat and the, the, my, my most memorable moments of those times that we've done that is the final day. And people are always say it just went too fast and, and they were so sad that yeah. it was over. And that, that's something. That, right? But that's beautiful because that means that they enjoyed the experience, that it was full, that they were engaged, that, I mean, yeah, I also feel like that. And, and when we did the course that was um, recorded, that is the one that now is available online, I also felt the same, like, wow, this was so beautiful. And I, I would have enjoyed another week uh, with these people and, and uh, the beautiful work that we all did, so. Yeah, and, and also that if, you, if you're watching this and you're like, oh, w what do you mean? I, I'd say this, if you've been watching this video now for the past 40 minutes and you've enjoyed listening to Layla and myself, uh, I haven't really said much, but normally I say a lot more. But if you've enjoyed this kind of energy, then it's basically the same thing because it's myself and Layla explaining healing through the whole of the four days in a very um, deep dive kind of intricate and we explain everything so it's like you you get all the tools not only to be able to heal your family and friends and yourself but it's an experience that I don't know it just changes people it seems to change people I found for sure it's a transformational program and what I would say to those who might be concerned about, oh, it's uh, online, I want to do it live. At this moment, we don't have live courses. We might do a retreat one day in the future, but um, it works. We would not have continued with it if it no. didn't work. We, we, we did the experiment with the first uh, online course. We said, okay, let's see if this works. If it translates, if people can actually appreciate the information and get get what the course delivers and yes absolutely I went through it a number of times online and it's the same you just it's better to have a bigger screen like some people ask if they can watch on on, on their phone I, I would recommend you have a bigger screen like a laptop or an iPad or something uh, that way you can literally feel like you're in the room because you're seeing all the participants you're seeing us we're talking about tools where you know there's time that you can take for lunch and, and you know uh, for your clients that's part of the course so it's really exciting and and it's empowering so no, no matter what your career is or vocation whatever you do it will strengthen you and empower you in in a spiritual way and we're spiritual beings so there's so many people who have who's done the course, like we've had doctors, oh, nurses, yeah. we've engineers, had engine architects, yeah, keep going, uh, I, teachers, I can, yeah. um, other healers of different modalities, M musicians, um, actors, chefs, cook, uh, cooks, um, yoga it, it, teachers, um, you name it, Reiki practitioners, um, big, all kinds big, of Bitcoin um, traders. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah. Um, conspiracy theorists, students, students yeah. Um, 
Yeah. Uh, and then re re retiring. Yeah. Uh, uh, people are retired. People are retired yeah. who wanted to finally experience this. And moms who want to help heal their children. Totally, I missed um, that one. You're right. Fathers, um, men, women. Like, uh, usually there's, you know, a niche for a different course That's that you true. can take. That's Our true. Course, we don't have a niche no. uh, a client. No, because we've had people from all walks of life. Yeah from all cultures, whenever we have a new country, like somewhere far on the island in the middle of Pacific, we're like, oh my God, look, there's this new there's an healer, island like, that There's an island that we've never even heard of in, yeah, in, in we Japan. we have to look it up in, yeah. in, in, uh, online, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> it's a course that has transformed many people's lives and, um, and I am sure it will be valuable for you. Um, we're standing behind it because we believe in it, and uh, yeah. that's that's all. If that's it's the right for you course for you, you will do it at the right time. Well, it's um, a beautiful surprise having you, Leila. Thank you for for joining us today again. Um, we hope to see you in the future, uh, next year or whenever you <laughs> you get time to come. Please uh, let us know. Keep us informed of all your beautiful upcoming. Um, I don't know, miracles, little miracles of books and all the things that you're doing. Please keep us informed and we'll sure to share it with all our family, our community. And I'll link uh, all the links below for everybody. And I'm wishing you all a lovely day. It's been a joy having Layla here today. So thank you, Layla Sati. You're welcome. Thank you all. <laughs> Bye for now. Take care.